Hey guys, so I'm back again. As you can see, it is the next day now and I have levelled up to level 5. I have a buff, which I'll explain probably in a later video. Um, and basically I did some more of all this and now I have another drop so I can actually show you guys the pets. So basically if you click on your inventory here, um, you can scroll down and you'll see that you have these different eggs. Lion cub, panda cub and wolf egg. Um, these here are potions, at the moment I only have desert potions, but basically you have um, a base pet of each pet and then you have like a desert of each pet and you have like a dark of each pet and you have a cotton candy of each pet kind of thing. So you've got like the same pet but in different colours basically. So if I just go ahead and use that on the panda cub, yes I want that, and use one of those on the lion cub. Yep, and now you'll see that I don't have any hatching potions left so I can't hatch this next egg yet. Um, you'll see down here I have a bunch of foods, um, so I'll go ahead and show you guys how that works with the pets. Basically when you come in here it says 2 out of 90 pets found. This is my little, um, this is one of the pets I've literally just hatched, I showed you guys that earlier. Um, and that is my lion, although it does not look like a lion cub, that looks like a full grown lion to me. Um, but yeah, basically you've got these kind of different things here. If you feed them milk, there you go, yes. Um, it will tell you whether they enjoy it or not. Basically, if they don't enjoy it, it'll only go up a little bit. Um, and if they enjoy it a lot, then it will go up um, by a lot, this little green bar over here. So they're more likely to turn into a mount quicker. But basically, if you don't know what they like, just kind of give them anything because it's going to go up a little bit at least. So I don't think any of these are going to get up to a mount just with me doing this, showing you guys today. But when it does, I'll probably make another video to show you guys what you can do with them then. Uh, do, do, do. Yep. Yeah, so we're up to, I don't know, about a third or so progress on that one. So you'll see now I have all these people across the top, which I didn't have before. Um, these guys are my party, as I said in my last kind of half of this video. Um, what I did was basically joined a party, um, College Info Geeks, which is the one that Thomas Frank started. These are all the people in my under 30 one. And this character here on the end is me. Um, I'm, you'll see I'm actually level 31, we're halfway through a quest at the moment, which is why I haven't moved on up to the over 30 level group yet. But basically if you come in here and go on to party, you'll now see that you have all of these people who have accepted the quest, and then you have like the people who haven't, and then some details about the quest and the kind of the kind of things that you need to do. So in this one we need to find 20 bars of soap. So when you have um, drops you might find one and then basically it's just like you got to find a certain amount of certain things or you have to, in other cases, you have a beast which you have to kill and so it will give you his kind of HP and then it will show um, how much damage you do to him each time. I think I'm going to leave it at that for this video guys because otherwise it's going to be ridiculously long but I'll probably do another video showing you guys the challenges, um, the data and some other kind of various bits and bobs, probably the mounts as well if I'm up to that by that point. Um, but thanks for watching this video, if you liked it give it a thumbs up, if you've got any questions pop them down in the comments box down below and hopefully I'll see you in my next video.